The Senate will come to order. Okay. Senator Neville, will you please lead us in the pledge? Thank you, Madam President. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Majors, would you please call the roll? Senators Aguilar, Baumgartner, Carroll, Cook, Crowder, Donovan, Garcia, Grantham, Guzman, Heath, Hill, Hodge, Holbert, John, Johnston, Jones, Kafalas, Kerr, Here. Lambert, Here. Lundberg, Here. Marble, Here. Martinez Humanic, Merrifield, Here. Neville, Here. Newell, <laughs> Sheffel. Scott, Sonnenberg, Stedman, Tate, Todd, Uliberry, Woods, President Cadman. Excused. Madam President. Here. The morning roll call is 34 present, zero absent, and one excused. We have a quorum. Approval of the journal, Senator Tate. Members, if we thank could you. keep the noise down just a little bit. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I move that the reading of the journal of Wednesday, January 27th be dispensed with and that the journal um, be approved as corrected by the Secretary of the Senate. You've heard the motion. Is there any objection? Seeing none, the motion is adopted. <laughs> Committee reports. January 27, 2016, Committee on Judiciary, after consideration of the Mayor's Committee, recommends the following Senate Bill 26 be amended as follows and as well amended before the Committee on Appropriations, the favorable recommendation. January 27, 2016, Committee on Business, Labor, and Technology, after consideration of the Mayor's Committee, recommends the following Senate Bill 53 be postponed indefinitely. January 27, 2016, Committee on Business, Labor, Technology, after consideration of the Mayor's Committee, recommends the following Senate Bill 50 be amended as follows and as well amended for the Committee of the Whole Favorable Recommendation with the recommendation be placed on the consent calendar. Third reading of bills, final passage, consent calendar. Mr. Majors, would you please read the title to the bill on the consent calendar? Senate Bill 66 by Senator Stedman and Representative Hamner concerning creation of the Contingency Reserve Fund for school districts. Majority Leader Scheffel. Thank you, Madam President. I move that the Senate adopt the bill listed on the third reading of bills for final passage consent calendar, which includes Senate Bill 66. Is there any discussion on the bill? Seeing none, the motion before the body is the adoption of Senate Bill 66 on third reading of bills, final passage, consent calendar. Are there any no votes? With a vote of 34 ayes, zero noes, one excused, Senate Bill 66 is passed on third reading. Co-sponsors, Senator Newell, Senator Todd, Senator Kerr, Senator Guzma, Senator Merrifield, Senator Kafalis, Senator Aguilar, Senator Heath, or Senator Garcia, Senator John, 
Senator Donovan. Any further co-sponsors for Senate Bill 66? All right. And we're on to announcements. Announcements. Senator Lambert. Thank you, uh, Madam President. The uh, Joint Budget Committee is scheduled to meet this afternoon at 1.30. However, we will be briefing the Joint Transportation Committees. Please bring your red books with you for that meeting. But then upon adjournment of the Senate or the Joint Transportation Committee, uh, the JBC might meet uh, in a, a different time upon adjournment of that meeting. So that's a calendar change that I just wanted to announce uh, for the record. Uh, Joint Budget Committee will plan to be meeting upon adjournment of Joint Transportation. Thank you. Any further announcements? Senator Hill. Thank you, Madam President and colleagues. And just a reminder, we've got a rally for school choice on the west steps of the Capitol. So you've got your lovely um, yellow scarves. Come wear those out. Uh, I know it's usually once a year we get a chance to wear them, but come support uh, the best education opportunity we can for every single one of Colorado's kids. Thank you. Any further announcements? Senator Johnson. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, members, just a quick note, you'll see on your desk uh, this information about child savings accounts. Today is Child Savings Account Day, and so you'll see some really helpful information about the big impact it has on changing children's behavior and parents' behavior when they have the chance to invest early in preparing for post-college uh, options. And so there's some key information here about some efforts in Colorado to expand those. Uh, if you want more info, happy to talk to myself or Senator martinez Jimenez about it. Thanks so much. Majority Leader Sheffel. Committee reports. January 27, 2016, Committee on State Veterans Military Affairs after consideration of the Marriage Committee recommends following Senate Bill 17 before favorably to Committee on Finance. January 27, 2016, Mr. President, the Committee on State Veterans Military Affairs sat in consideration of that hearing on the following appointments recommends the appointment be placed on the consent calendar and confirm. Member of the Fire and Police Pension Association Board of Directors for term expiring September 1, 2017, Suzanne J. Morgan of Lone Tree in Colorado, serves as representative of Colorado Municipal Employers and occasion by the resignation of Susan R. Eaton of Denver, Colorado, appointed. January 27, 2016, Mr. President, the Committee on State Veterans Military Affairs acted in consideration of a hearing on the following appointment and recommends the appointments be placed on the consent counter and confirmed. Members of the Fire and Police Pension Association Board of Directors for term expiring September 1, 2019, Manuela Albert Escobella of Brighton, Colorado, serves as a representative of Colorado Municipal Employees, reappointed. Pamela Marie Feely of Lakewood, Colorado, serves as a representative of the Board of Directors of a Special District, reappointed. Todd A. Bauer of Denver, Colorado, serves as a full time paid firefighter, reappointed. So January 27, 2016, Mr. President, of the Committee on State Veterans Military Affairs is under consideration at a hearing on the following appointment and recommends the appointment be placed on the consent calendar and confirm. Member of Commission, Board of Commissioners of Veterans Community Living Centers for targets by July 1, 2019, Ruth Eileen Minima of Centennial, Colorado, serves as a member of, with expertise in nursing home operations, who is a nursing home administrator at the time of appointment, who is experienced in the financial operations of a nursing home and has an unaffiliated appointed. January on 7, 2016, Mr. President, the Committee on State Veterans Military Affairs had in consideration and decided a hearing on the following appointment and recommended the appointment be placed on the consent calendar and confirmed. Member of the Board of Commissioners of Veterans Community Living Centers for return expiring July 1, 2019, William Lewis Robinson of Castle Rock, Colorado, serves as a veteran and the designee of the State Board of Veterans Affairs and as an unaffiliated appointed. Majority Leader Sheffield. Thank you, Madam President. Colleagues, just a few announcements before we adjourn here. Uh, you'll want to make a note that tomorrow is Military Appreciation Day. So we will be coming here to the floor and then heading over to the House, but we will come here first. And then we'll head over to the House to combine efforts with the House Military Appreciation Day. Those of you that are working on the uh, joint resolutions know who you are. Those of you that want to participate uh, might want to prepare accordingly. Again, Military Appreciation Day will be tomorrow. In addition, please take note that in uh, Senate Education Committee, Senate Education Committee, they will not be hearing the governor's appointments uh, for the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System. That includes uh, three potential appointees. 
that will not be heard in Senate education. They will be laid over. All other scheduled uh, considerations in education will be heard, but not for the Colorado State University system, the three appointees there. In addition, just please take note, the staff is passing out your tax documents. They're going to be asking for your initial to confirm receipt of those documents. They're also going to be having you give a sample signature so they know what your signature looks like. Please cooperate with staff so they can get those documents out. And then finally, uh, just a quick note, there are bankers in our midst. It's said that Kramer always wanted to be a banker. You'll find bankers all throughout the Capitol today. The uh, President-elect of the Independent Bankers Association is here, Mr. Harry Devereaux. He comes to us as a, an award-winning bank, uh, his home state bank. Mr. Devereaux, thanks for being with us. Please join me in welcoming. Please take time to uh, meet up. There's odds are there's an independent banker from your district who's in the Capitol today, and they'll be having their luncheon over the noon hour. Nancy? Nancy? It's all for now, Madam President. Senator Todd. Thank you, and good morning, colleagues. Um, tomorrow morning, being Military Day, there is a reception at 8 o'clock down in the West Foyer. I encourage you to come and meet some of our uh, military leaders for the state of Colorado. And um, it's always a, an exciting day, and we will look forward to joining our House members to salute the military and veterans of Colorado. Thank you. Okay, any further announcements? Seeing none, Majority Leader Shuffle. Thank you, Madam President. At this time, I move the Senate adjourned to 9 a.m. Friday, January 29th. You've heard the motion. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed, no? Motion carries. Senate will adjourn to 9 a.m. Friday, January 29th.